big school right up here, so I don't know why I'm Steven is the only one of us then, at this point, who had never caught a bonefish. You know, this is one of my first saltwater experiences of my life. And so I came in here just understanding that I didn't know what I was doing. Hey, uh, this flat didn't really pan out up here, so we're going to bounce down below you guys and try to find a better place to fish. I don't have the saltwater experience behind it. I'm an extremely noob to this, extreme rookie to this, and I knew I had work to do. I think I, come off. I think it came off. I think he came off the seagrass. So Steve was like the the focus. Steve, it's your turn. You gotta do the you gotta do the fun part now. There he goes. There he's off. And then that just started the the chronicles of Steve trying to catch his first bone. Oh no! Oh no! What's happening? Let's go, Steve. Yeah. Real. See what happened, dude. Lost pressure on it. I'm not trying to put a got a good set on it. He ran as he stopped for a second there as I put my rod up and I just wrapped the line around my rod there and just lost pressure on it. I'm sitting there friendly trying to get the line off there so he doesn't break the rod or break the line and there's enough time for him to just get off. So. <sighs> that many shots we could have that that would be better than that so we'll we'll get off first one about 40 yards out These guys are going to try to get around them because they're headed the opposite direction. They got a little spooked about something, so they're uh, they were moving straight towards them. There we go. Let's see what happens. Come on, Steve. A lot of fish. A lot of fish didn't want to fly. Sad day. Tails, tails, tails.
So Steve and I just saw some tails and we were like, oh, those are bonefish tails. We're, uh, 10 feet in front of us, run up here real quick. We start looking and I'm like, man, what is that? That's not a bonefish. And keep looking and we're like, maybe it's a shark. We've seen a couple other things on this flat. But finally they kind of turned and they were permit. They were three permit that were about this big, which is crazy. I mean, this water is ankle deep. Oh, you see that straight ahead? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Right Got it. Oh, I see him. Oh, he's falling it. He's falling it. You got him. Oh, no. Dude, he ate it. He ate it. Hey, we might have a school coming in this way. Okay. Wait. Yeah, I felt, I, I felt that little brush and I hit that. Hit it on him. And I was like, oh, I got him. And then I just went slack. Oh, yeah, there they are. There they are. They're coming this way. It's a pretty big group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's back up. Lead them far, too, so you can strip into them. Lead him, Steve. Lead him, Steve. Hold up. Yep. I like it, Steve. Man, you can't catch a break. I know. You know, still in this whole do-it-yourself thing, it's a learning experience for us, and we're just trying to put the pieces together and connect the dots to figure out a good pattern here. But we're seeing fish consistently, seeing good schools of them, and, you know, somewhat regularly getting good shots at them. <laughs> coming at you. Are you sure? What happened, Steven? Cool to see you. Uh, that being said, the opportunities are coming. It's not like I'm not getting the shots or not getting the hookups. It's just, you know, that final little bit of me bringing it home. Alright guys, things get a bit salty out here in the water. The showers really aren't the best out here, so I'm going to show you how we shower out here with Hobo Steve style. You're going to need two items. First, you're going to need your whiskey. Mm. For no other reason because it's delicious. And next, you're going to need your joy. Stay clean. Ah. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> yes! <laughs> My back's a bit sunburned. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Out. Just like you're in a car wash commercial. Nice and scrub. Really got to lather up the hair. You never know how much salt's gonna be up in that. Got a lot. Uh, all right, ladies, don't watch this portion or watch it. I'm gonna charge you extra. All right. Final step to that. Now that we are cleaned up, to get a little freshwater rinse. Hopefully this is not too hot. Ah. Woo. Gotta get your sea legs about you before you get on the boat. You got layers of sunscreen for the last few days just caked in here. But they don't need your ears cleaned out. Ah. All right. Well, if you watch anymore, I'm gonna have to charge you for my OnlyFans, so we're gonna cut it right there. Welcome to the uh, sailboat kitchen. We're about to cook some chicken wings and some rice for the boys. 
Uh, Scotty's up here dumping cards. Of course, there's a lot that he's got to do when we get back to the boat. Steve is kind of in charge of uh, keeping the boat tidy and also making sure the fishing stuff is ready for tomorrow. Bryant is also on filming duty and is going to be helping me with dinner. So let's get to it. The first thing that you're going to do if you're going to cook is that you got to have a good mixture. So here we've already mixed up a batch of Hudson Marks and uh, I just poured myself one. I don't like to cook unless I'm drinking, or I don't like to dr cook and drink unless I'm cooking. No. I don't like to cook unless I'm drinking, so whatever it is. <laughs> oh, wow. That's that lu brain lubrication is what that is. You drink a few of those and a couple things start really kicking right in your head and man. That's, uh, that's good. <laughs> so Stephen found these wings on sale. Each one of these bags was a dollar a piece from some island grocery store. So, who in the world knows how they're going to be? We're going to give them a shot, then. Let's call that Hobo Steve Ball on budget. I didn't say you weren't wrong. Three of those bags for $3? You're not getting that anywhere else. You're not getting that somewhere else. No. And I'm fine with it. But I'm just saying, I don't me. really know how they're going to be. We got some barbecue sauce. Again, some original barbecue sauce is all it says. Mm. That's good. All right, there's uh, rice. Y'all grab, grab a rice bowl. Grab a rice bowl, go upstairs and eat wings. It's hot. Hot, no, stop giving me hot bowls. No. It's hot. You can't hold a f bowl? It's Let's hot. Let's go. Go upstairs. You get the other Th then you're not getting a bowl if you won't carry it upstairs. I got my bowl. I hate him. I hate him so much. Well, we got our wings with the uh, homemade island barbecue sauce. Pretty not half bad. What do you think, Scoop? Mm. You think we're all gonna wake up with diarrhea? Yes. <laughs> right now, I'm just going it's going down good. I don't know how it's gonna feel like in a little bit, but. I'm, I approve. The barbecue sauce is incredible. This entire dinner was like four dollars. <laughs> so feeding four people for four dollars is pretty freaking solid. We're, we've kind of lost track of time out here. I don't even know what day on the trip it is, but we're closing out a really, really long day on the flats. Walked a lot of miles, casted out some fish, and it's just been a grind. So we're uh, we're closing it out. Whatever the day today is. And uh, we're gonna hit it hard tomorrow. All right, guys, morning of day, whatever it is. Steven's hooked some fish. Has not been lucky enough to land one though. He's done all the hard part, just hasn't been able to have the fun part of it. So, uh, Steve, what, what's the, what are we gonna do differently today? Land it. All right. So we're gonna come out here and hook some bonefish. Maybe Steve will land some, who knows?
Well, quick update. Bonefish adventures with Steve and B. How do we do? We saw a bonefish. One. Yeah, one. Saw one. It wasn't happy. Saw a lot of sharks though, so if we were out here fishing for sharks, we'd have had a great day. I don't really have anything else to update you on because we only saw one boat fish and didn't catch anything. So. Hopefully, with our bad luck, the other party that's out there fishing right now is having good luck. Oh, wow, there's a fish. Oh, wow. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Dang, that is actually a fish. <laughs> Not about a fish. Barracuda, looks like. Barracuda, new species. <laughs> right off the reef. That was terrifying trying to get the hook out of his mouth. Those massive teeth. There's like eight of them right here. Look at all of them. Have any reception? Look you out there. Oh. Hello. Yeah, this the fish man. <laughs> Where they at though? <laughs> Where they at? <laughs> I think a lot of the trouble we started having there at the end in the last few days was the tide didn't match the time of day where it was high tide super early in the morning coming down into a low tide so all morning tide dropping fish moving off the flats to you know two o'clock where then finally you get to hit that incoming tide for the day then the light is just totally blown Oh, I got one in front of me. God. No, I lined him. With, you know, where it was on the island, where the wind hit it, and where the sun hit it, we didn't have that many places we could go fish here. We were really kind of stuck. Like, all right, well, we know where the fish are going to be. Let's see what we can figure out. I don't. Where they at? They're right. They're coming in quick. See all those tails right there? Close. Like 15 yards. Right at your 12. I'd go ahead and cast it in that sandy spot right there. To the right? Yeah. More left. Yep. Oh my god. Come on, man. What the f is going on? There were several times that I was just like, I just won't catch a bonefish on this trip. I just, I just not gonna happen. Holy shit. It was just one thing after another. My leader's all sorts of shit right now. Where'd they go? To your 12, man.
There we go. There we go. Ah! Ha. Ah! Ha. So, we were all out of options at this point. Yeah, I have three days left. I have two days left. I, I'm just not going to catch one. I had done, in my mind, everything right that I should have on these fish. And just could not land one. We didn't really know what to do because that was the biggest concentration that we had found to that point. But there was one more flat that we hadn't fished that was just around the way. We hopped up on that flat and we motored over to this thing and it was a shallow little shelf. Where are they at? Maybe we should stand off from these sand flats because every single one of them have been around these sand flats. I'm still very new at like sighting these fish and so I can see their bodies moving but I didn't realize that the fish that I saw that I thought was the front of the pack was not the front of the pack. There were some fish in front of that. As I made that cast, I had that like gun shy moment in my head. I, like, I just lined the front of the school again. But nothing. Not today, mother Get that rod high. Holy I thought I lined them too. Soccer. There he goes. Let's, let's back him into this sandy area. Alright. He's good where he is. Finally, in my head and in my heart, I felt like this is it. This is that fish. Like, I've had so many missed opportunities, I've missed so many fish so far. This is the fish. I don't know he's more tired, him or me. I've been over here just 
chasing school after school and just busting them, missing the cast. And finally, about a line them dropped about a foot off them. Pop, pop, went tight. This guy just took off. Man, he is a chunker. Miss fish after miss fish. Finally be able to land one of these guys that we, I feel like, went halfway across the world to find. Oh my gosh, this is rewarding. You got one? Let's go. Congrats. Holy sh! Looks like it took you for a little run. Yeah, he just kept running and running. Dude, that's awesome. I hooked up and immediately like, not today, what the f He took off as I took off. After yes. Him. Let's go. It is 6 a.m. today, and we're gonna change things up a little bit today. The other day, we bumped into a local fishing guide, um, this guy named Kevin. How are you? Good oh, to see good. you. How are you? What's your, what's your name again? I'm Scotty. Scotty. Okay. Yes, sir. Hi. You know, we got to talking about fishing, about the area, about how we've been doing, and uh, decided we would go out and uh, do a day with him. A little faster than the dinghy, huh? Yeah, this is a whole lot better than the dinghy, than the dinghy ride, but <laughs> you know what? I like that we grinded it out in the dinghy first. Now we, I can truly appreciate this. The other guys have already taken off and they're gonna go target a few different species other than bonefish since that's all we've been focusing on. But now that we finally all have caught one, it's time to branch out and explore what this island has to offer. Trying to relearn how to cast a spinning reel today. I don't know why it's so much more, that's why it's so much harder than a fly rod. But I'm a little out of practice. I'm just enjoying my seat back here on my polling platform. I've got a red beer and uh, it's just a good day, you know? We've been pretty dialed in, pretty high stress on the bonefish the past few days, and uh, it's nice to come out here and have some fun and do something that I haven't done in a long time. and. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get some cool fish for the cooler this evening. I think I still got it a little bit. Oh, you're a natural. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, wow. That's giving a little more. Oh, wow. He's giving me the business. Big old gar. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. And look. <laughs> You're on, dude. You're on. I caught the smallest fish. Oh, bring it in. What, I don't know what this is. It's a yellow tail. That's why we're here. Oh, okay. He's, he's a little bit on the small side. If you don't mind, you can release him. I mean, he's edible, but it's a little on the small side. Oh, big. Yeah. Oh, uh -oh. it's got a gun. Oh! Oh, the probably could have took, took him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh! Oh no, did it snap? I cut my line. <laughs> Oh. 
Don't lose him now. <laughs> they get to be about 14 pounds around here. That's the biggest I've ever caught in here. This part of five pounds. Right? Four or five pounds. Sweet. And you see that spot? Yeah. That lets you know what species he is, the mutton snapper. Half turn. Oh, I've got a hmm? I've got a yellow snapper back right next to you too. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little double up? Little double up on that reef. It was a good scene to kind of round out the trip. Reef fishing. Out here bebopping around from different parts of the reef looking for some dinner tonight. All the hard work, all the planning in the front end, all the missed fish, all the celebrations of, of caught fish, and then we went on the absolute meat haul. Oh, there's something. Oh. That's not seaweed. Oh, nice double up. That's awesome. Yeah, we got a double up here. <laughs> I'm hoping snapper. Oh, they're fighting. No, snapper's too deep like this. Huge, huge snappers. Just, uh, all of a sudden, just found two yellowtail snappers. Got a nice little double up there, and uh, a little bit more to add to the grill tonight. Looking forward to it. I know it's not on a fly rod, but you cannot come down here and not go out and do some reef fishing and put some fresh fish in the boat for dinner. I mean, that's just a staple of what you can do down here. And, you know, we just didn't want to miss out on it. So, let's keep going at it. Yeah, I have it. It's over by him. It's right. It's right here. <laughs> the gap the whole We got us a barracuda, boys. Look at those teeth. Man. So you got them right in the, it's like I said, the edge right Oh the yeah, you're right. Right yeah. right where you said, right in the corner mm -hmm. there. That's why you couldn't get the line. It's, uh, it takes a lot of skill to catch a barracuda with no wire leader. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> impressive, guys. Feeling about the vibes right now, dude. These are the, sh the vibes are high. Is that what the kids say? What do the kids say? Right. Vibes are big, strong vibes. The vibes are horrible with Steven here. If it was just us three, great. But then Steven showed up, it was terrible. We uh, came up on shore. We invited our guide to come back to uh, dinner with us. We've got a fire going. We've got some rice, and we're about to load up uh, this fish in some aluminum foil packets put them on the grill, and hopefully they are as good as he says they are. There he is! Oh, hey! What's up, dude? You good? <laughs> How are you? I'm excited. I'm glad you made it. Absolutely. Take the first plate. You guys work so hard, though. I don't feel, <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel guilty. <laughs> what do we think? It's very good. Are you just saying that? Or? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe. <laughs> More to die for. Is this a snapper? Mm -hmm. Try it. Nice smoky flavor. Mm. Mm. That is really good. Mm -hmm. I think it was so fun talking with him all day and just learning about the history of the island, learning about his past with getting into fly fishing because this is a guy you know from the Caribbean who grew up a completely different upbringing than we did. But we all obviously have this shared thing with fly fishing. 
We all just kind of sat there and we're quiet and we listen and we gain a new respect for this fishery. It's different when it's from a bunch of guys who grew up in the southeast. It's different when it, you know, if we just came and left, we would take only a little minuscule amount right. with us. But since we met him and he's like, yeah, I was, you know, I grew up here. This is my fishery. It's, it's now a lot more special to us versus yeah. if we had just shown up, caught some fish, went out. We got you some hats. Are you kidding me? There's a pair of Costas. Are these gifts? Yeah. And uh, you saw the condition of my glasses too, didn't you? Well, we did, but <laughs> you know. Okay, thank you. Got you a new, new pair of glasses, some koozies, and some shirts, some hats. Mm -hmm. Nice, awesome. Dude. There you go, man. Thank you, guys. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Even though we put a different twist on this trip, it's still that DIY project that we're all trying to complete. I feel like what's next is the same thing. We're gonna find something else and whether it's another bonefish trip, so be it. You're not going to go fish? Tell me how the fishing is, because I'm going to be at the bar right over here. When you're done fishing, just come see me at the bar. If the fishing's good, come get me at the bar. Yeah, OK. There you go. You know. So the best thing happened yesterday, we're, we were sitting there joking about having our dicks in our hand and missing bonefish. <laughs> and Adam and I are floating over this flat, both of us pissing. And sure enough, bonefish comes right in front of us. And we're just like, well, I mean, you don't want to cut the stream short. That's, That's just bad for your health. Bad for your prostate, so I've been told. We don't know at all what we're doing, so we're trusting you sure. to teach us, show us the ropes. The ropes. Here's this rope. This one's kind of blue. Someone throw Scotty in the harbor. Um, boat keeps going like this. Last time Adam did that, we sunk it, so I'm a little, a little apprehensive on that. I haven't had but, 18 beers today yet. Yeah, we didn't bring any uh, grapefruit shandy, so thank God for that. Recky, oh, yours truly. Oh, hell yeah. Going up the Looks good. Let's dig in. Thanks, Daddy. Thanks, your hand is greasy. It's not grease. Or is it mine? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have all that armor, though, in the back. I know, yeah, he's got more padding <laughs> than I do. <laughs> oh, that hurt so bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>